All right, uh, welcome to another Monster Hunter Supremacy video. Um, I hope I'm gonna manage this one because it's the Black Raytheon that I talked about in the previous um, video. And yeah, it's still morning. Um, I just decided to record all these in a row because, yeah, premium. <laughs> So the first, the first couple of stages aren't that bad. It's actually there is a um, um, a conquest um, black Rathian that's uh, nine thousand uh, nine hundred ninety nine, and it actually has an extra stage which totally throws <laughs> off. So. God, I don't even know if I'm gonna have enough um, whetstones to be doing this thing. Normally, I'd use something a little bit more sturdy. Sword? I don't know. Um, but since I am just basically showing this thing off and I um, kind of want to get at least some hunter rank points from it. I am using okay-ish um, longsword. Mind you, this is a long set, a long, <laughs> a long sword that comes with a premium set. But I e gemmed in sigils. That's the thing that you use in G rank instead of gems. And it makes it a lower rarity. And to be honest, I think I forgot to put a new rarity seagull in it last time I leveled another 100. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's not that good. Though obviously it, it should be enough for... Um, I'm I'm a bit distracted here. Sorry, it should be enough for this one. <laughs> words, words, man, words. Also, I'll have to show you guys a normal Papu and I guess a normal Dora as well because I haven't recorded a Dora. Which is silly because I really like Baru, but Dora, even though it's basically the same model, has a lot of different moves. Very fun monster though, but uh, easier than Baru, I'd say. Though there is a G rank Baru and a hardcore Baru that I've never recorded. So I might record the G Hardcore one just because it's different. And we'll show you a bit how how it works when your armor isn't basically very end game. Well, I mean, it's I, I have end game armor, but um, the, the defense, of course, it's a, basically it's about just not getting hit. That's uh, as all Monster Hunter. Um, versions really the the best and it always sounds a bit as holish but it, it the best advice really is just hit the monster don't get hit <laughs> oh and dude is using the pobo Okay, here's where the, the here's where the the, 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 the thing starts, <laughs> basically. I mean, the rest of the fight is in, yeah. I mean, there's a lot of fireballs that that definitely hurt a lot. Here is the, oh wow, that's wow, that's. I I was going to say here is the one shot, but that actually didn't one shot me. Huh. Hmm. That that kind of surprised me. I'm I'm fairly sure that at some point this will one shot. Also, I need to. Uh, oh, okay. 
Okay. Good thing I had my absolute defense here. Though, as you might tell, um, the Hawk Potion here does a lot. You can actually not use it in conquests, the Hawk Potion, and yeah, this just doesn't one shot. Okay, oh, okay, that's that's um, that's okay with me, I guess. Uh, oops, I should really pay attention. Um, but yeah, you can't ha use hawk potions on things that, and it it wouldn't even matter because uh, at some point. Even when you're using premium, which you know is per month, hawk potion, so you you get it everywhere. I think I I was actually doing a pre-festival thing, and I didn't have a hawk potion there. That kind of sucked, but whatever. Um. Anyways, uh, yeah, the the moment that it basically uh, wait, sorry, I lost my train of thought. Um, so conquest monsters, you can't use them, uh, but at some point, even with premium, they're just not that useful because the monster will just go right through. I mean, it does more damage than, than the hog potion actually uh, can take away, so it goes, goes for all your health anyway. Unless, of course, you have guts, which is basically what a lot of people have and and I, I definitely have it because I, I would just get a one shield over and over also I kinda wanna get out of here da, 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 da. ow okay that's that didn't uh, no. I'm still kind of flabbergasted that I did not get a one shot there that's that's kinda um, weird really but uh, hey, uh, I guess I'm not complaining. I am kind of <laughs> running out of potions there. <laughs> That's an interesting um, thing though. There you can set your asset to use traps, at which you know it will only use uh, the pitfall and the, the shock trap once. You can set it to horns, what I do, and I'm not 100% sure, I think it can actually have them break um, there is knives, but I turn off knives even on did I? what, what was that? I, I don't know what that was huh, okay whatever um Anyways, knives I always turn off on premium restas because they just are not very good at it. Uh, they will throw them and a monster will just not be there. <laughs> Anyways, it basically it just takes some time to do nothing. And um, so I always turn it off on... Um, all the rest of anyways, <laughs> um, there is an interesting thing about the powder one, uh, you can give your, um, uh, your rest of powder stuffs, and, oops, don't want to be there, okay, whatever, um, and then it does cold and hot potions, uh, uh, antidote, anti paralyze, I guess, and anti sleep. And I think those are unlimited. Oh, and, and, and of course, life powders, except it won't actually do that when you have uh, adrenaline, at least the normal ones don't. Which I guess kind of sucks because, um, well, you need to. Um, and it's that <laughs> I'm confused. Uh, <laughs> anyways, 
you need to turn off the powders if you are doing actual ethylene with a uh, premium or turn the rest off entirely but they're kinda useful because they can't die anyways I'll ramble more in my next video and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, until next time